Hi everyone, this is Shirley from Shirley's World. And I'm here to do a what sold video and this I'm way behind on these. So this is what sold in the last three weeks of October. Uh, I sold, I think the last three weeks I sold 72 items and this is 20, 20 of them that I just picked out for various reasons. <laughs> so we'll see if I can remember how to do this again. Uh, I have my directions here. Uh, open the window, start YouTube Live. I did that. Okay. Share. Application. Pick a window. Share. Okay, you should be seeing a brown sweater there. And this is a J. Jill cable knit uh, sweater. I didn't turn my camera off, but I don't know if that matters or not. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll try this and see what happens. <laughs> anyway, um, let me go back. It says I'm screen sharing. Maybe you can see me in the corner. I don't know. I can't see me. Anyway, I sold this J. Jill cable knit sweater. It's an extra large in a brown, and I it sold for $24.99, which was its regular price. And uh, that's always good. <laughs> Okay, the next thing is, are these uh, Johnson & Murphy Black Oxford, these square toe um, men's shoes. They were a size 10 and a half, dress shoes, uh, tie, and they were made in Italy, which is good. And I, they sold for, I took a best offer of $32. And they, all the shoes that I sell, they go calculated shipping. Uh, so I don't have to pay for shipping on shoes because they're heavy. Uh, here's a uh, something that's not closed. It's a little vintage General Electric GE alarm clock uh, radio. And it had a snooze alarm on it, one of those old-fashioned ones. I picked this up for, I think, $4.00. And I can't remember if I got it at Salvation Army or Goodwill, but I paid four dollars for it, and I sold it for eighteen ninety nine, and it sold pretty quick. And they paid calculated shipping of eight dollars and seventy five cents to get that. So that was a good deal. And here's a Banana Republic uh, wool men's sweater in extra large. And I did take best offer of this. Uh, the buyer was from Finland. And I knew he was going to have to but pay a lot of money to get this to him. Because I'm on the global shipping and they do charge a lot. I am going to try to uh, change from global shipping just to uh, regular uh I don't know what they call it, uh, shipping all over the world. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Uh, but this went to Finland, and he paid me $20 for it, and I just paid to get it to Kentucky, and then they ship it out from there. And here's a Peter Millar a large black sweater vest. This is a merino wool. Uh, had a V-neck, and it sold for the asking price of $19.99. And they paid $4 shipping on that. And this sweater uh, was a Pendleton, extra large. It had a full zip front. And I, did, I thought I'd get more for this. I put it up for $34.99, but I did take a best offer of $20.00. 
I'm not sure why. <laughs> but they paid the expedited shipping on it. And uh, it sold on the 13th of October. And this is an Ann Taylor, uh, a two-piece dress. Now this, the dress, here is the dress done underneath the jacket. This is a dark red. It's a really nice uh, outfit. And the back had these crisscross straps on it. But uh, they, I did take a best offer. I had this a while. I took a best offer of twenty dollars. It was on. It was up for twenty four ninety nine. Uh, but they did pay uh, pay twenty dollars for it, and they paid twelve fifty in shipping. Uh, here's a Susan Graver. Uh, this is a long. This is the first time I've seen a dress by her. This was a real loose fitting long dress, button front like a shirtwaist dress, uh, buttoned all the way down and an extra large. And this pretty um, blue color, sort of turquoisey blue it was. And they paid the full price of $24.99. And that had free shipping on that. So. And here, uh, remember this movie, uh, The Breakfast Club? I picked this t-shirt up a long time ago. I've had this a long time, but I waited and waited and didn't reduce it. And it, it finally did uh, sell for the $16.95 and they paid $4 shipping on it. And a pair of page jeans. Uh, they were called Jimmy Jimmy. They were straight leg uh, jeans. Uh, I had $24.99 on these. These uh, page jeans were supposed to be really hot and sell for a lot of money at one time. But by the time I started to find them, uh, these just sat for a while. So I did take a best offer of $20. Uh, but they paid the expedited shipping of seven fifty on those. And here's a little pair of sandals, which uh, it's October. It was October, but I sold a pair of sandals, so you can sell anything. Doesn't matter the time of year, because I did sell two bathing suits this uh, in October also. So these Lucky Brand uh, little cork wedge heels uh, with a strap front, crisscross front. They were real cute. And they sold for $17.99. Here was a real heavy Under Armour. These were new with tags, or new without tag, I guess. Uh, men's large camouflage uh, hoodie sweatshirt was lined, it was real heavy, and it. Uh, I did take a best offer of $19 on those, and they paid the shipping. They paid $9.85 calculated shipping on that. Uh, this nice Pendleton jacket, I've had this a while also. Um, I had it marked $36.99, it was a wool, uh, jacket in a hound's tooth pattern, uh, size eight, really nice looking for work, but I did take a best offer of twenty-seven fifty on that. And here's a Prana. This is the first time I found this uh, brand. Prana is supposed to be good uh, seller. And it sold within two hours, so I guess it is. <laughs> and it sold uh, for $29. Why I took a best offer that quick, I have no idea. I must have just been in the mood to sell, sell, sell that day. <laughs> because I had it marked for $34.99. But they paid $29 and they paid $4 shipping. Here's an item I've had for quite a while. This vintage Valerie Stevens uh, 
this is really glamorous. It was um, a long sort of almost tunic length and it was velvet, black velvet, and it had this beautiful feathery collar on it. Very glamorous. And um, it was a size medium, and it finally sold. Uh, I sold it for $20, and they paid expedited shipping of $12.50 on that because I didn't want to crush it in an envelope, so I put it in a box. And it did go to California, so I don't know who bought it, but it was really neat looking. Here's a pair of Vans. Uh, this is the second pair of Vans. I had gotten, I think, two pair that week. They both sold now. I had this pair and another pair. Uh, these were off the uh, Vans off the wall, women's canvas lace up. Uh, little sneakers, and these were named Galaxy. Um, they had like little stars all over them. And those sold for $30. Took a best offer $30, and they paid calculated shipping of seven and a quarter for them. Now, here's another non clothing item I sold. This was a weight scale. It had um, it looked brand. It looked like it hadn't been used much at all. It was the uh, tabletop postal scale. You could weigh up to thirty-five pounds on this, and uh, it was a really nice scale. I don't think it had the uh, directions with it, if I remember rightly, but it did work. Uh, it was a working scale, and it sold for the full price of $22.99. The mistake I made was somehow I put free shipping on this, which I should have never done that because it, this was heavy. And um, the shipping I paid, I had to pay $12.87, 12 dollars 85 to ship this. So I really didn't make all that much money on this uh, scale but I should have made this a calculated I should have lowered the price a little bit and put calculated shipping on this uh, but you always learn don't, don't sh do free shipping on really heavy items <laughs> in this pair of Doc Martens leather hiking boots these were women's uh, size uh, U.S. size 7, U.K. size 5. Doc Martin's shoes are, without a doubt, I think, the ugliest shoes. But they sell, not really, really fast, but they do sell. So I, I do buy them. And uh, these I took a best offer of $25, and they paid, uh, they paid shipping, calculated shipping, of sixteen dollars and forty-five cents to get them because they're they weigh a ton, and they went to uh, Colorado. So I guess they were going to do hiking in these little boots. Uh, here was a hunt a men's sport coat, Hunter and Coggins, but this was a Harris tweed. I had I wish I had gotten more of this. This was already on sale. Because we can now do sales. Uh, for a while, we couldn't do sales. But now they're back to letting us do uh, like a percentage sale. So these were on a 15% off sale. I had originally had them at $79.99. And then uh, I put this at, six, then it was reduced to $67.99. And then I did take a best off for $55. So they got a uh, Harris Tweed jacket. This was a uh, 46 extra long uh, jacket, really nice jacket. And they paid uh, the shipping on that. <laughs> and here was that belt that I got, the fossil belt, uh, women's small. Uh, this was a nice looking belt, had hole, that, those uh, holes all over it. It had been used, but it was in, still in really good condition. 
the silver buckle there. And it sold for the asking price of $14.99. And the last thing here is this, <coughs> excuse me, Mountain Hardware Men's Extra uh, Large Fleece Vest. Mountain Hardware is a really good brand to buy. This sold within hours, and it sold for the asking price of $36.54. It was on sale in that sale, 50% off, because I had it marked for $42.99, but they took the sale price of $36.54, and it sold right away, and they paid shipping on that also. So, hoping I can get back here. Stop sharing. Here I am. Okay, uh, evidently you don't have to turn off the camera. It just sort of hides. Of course, I don't know what you were seeing. But I'm sorry it took me so long to do a What Sold video. It got out of hand so many things, but that's good, you know. And I did get my uh, tooth you can see I have a tooth instead of a hole there. Uh, it needs some adjustment on, and some, uh, the tooth color isn't quite right. But uh, I'll get that fixed. You want it perfect because they cost a hell of a lot of money. So the other thing I got, this, I got this on, what's today, Saturday? Friday, yesterday I got it. And... At the same day, I had ordered a Roomba, you know, the iRobot Roomba. I've always wanted one, so I got a really nice one, the 980 series, 980. And it took me all day playing with that thing. I finally did get it hooked up to my Wi-Fi, and I can work it for my phone or Alexa or anything. And I spent yesterday just watching it do its thing because it maps out your house. It's kind of scary. Maps out your house and it learns your house. I only have it right now doing the uh, kitchen, dining room, and family room because it can't go up the two steps to get to my living room in this level. So I can set it up here and it'll do this level too, but right now it's cleaning. It's just working really good to learn that area because that's the area that has the most dog hair cat hair so uh but once in a while i will bring it up here and let it uh do up here and upstairs too but you have to carry it up there uh, and when it's done when its battery gets a little low or down to like a quarter battery i think it is it hunts for its docking station and it goes to get recharged. And that's what it's doing right now. It cleaned uh, this morning for about an hour and a half, those three rooms. And then when the battery got low, it found its way back to its little home base. And it's recharging. So I suppose when it gets recharged, it'll start up again, finish the cleaning job if it's not already done. Uh, I don't think it's quite done yet. I don't know. I just stand, <laughs> I've been standing around watching it do its thing. The dog, you ask, is he scared of it? Yes, he was terrified at first. But today, yeah, that was yesterday. Yes, he took off and ran upstairs and hid. But today he was watching it with me. But he stayed behind me, of course, because Dexter is a real chicken. And he did stay behind me, but he was watching it, and he wasn't getting real concerned about it. So I think after a while, he will uh, just not pay too much attention to it. The cats, of course, <laughs> they could care less. So anyway, I hope this came out right. I'm going to look at it and see. But I will uh, see you on the next video. The next one will... Uh, I may do another What Sold video to sort of catch up uh, for this part of November uh, so I don't get too far behind. 
but I don't want to go shopping and do a, uh, you know, a haul video till I get the things I have uh, listed. So I've had some really good days, but then the last two days, yesterday and today, have been horrible. I sold two things yesterday and one thing so far today, so that's terrible. So I'm going to close for now. I'm sorry I didn't have the chat up. Um, um, today, but if you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more of these things with me. And um, uh, push the uh, little thumbs up button, please. Be like this. And I'm going to close for now and see you again. Bye.